Hello, welcome to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting um, the doors from Mantic's Star Saga. I'm going to make a start on these ones because we're hopefully going to get some play or gameplay done of these in a few weeks. So, what I've done is I've got all of the doors here, from all the double doors, the single doors, there's two different types of each door. So, I've got each of the doors here, but I'm only going to show you one on camera because it takes quite a bit of time to get them done and it's a little boring if uh, you're just watching painting the same thing over and over again. So what I'm going to do first after priming it black is giving it a full coat, full base coat, all over of um, oops. Ermy Painter's Rough Iron. Um, now the reason I've already got some of this out is because um, I have been uh, painting up a few of these already because I just want to get them done as a batch painting session. Um, so once I've done with the video I can continue with um, getting them painted fully and then you can see them um, I'll post a photograph of them all side by side. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? At the end of this video, once they've all been painted up. Um, I need, and I've run out of the, um, what do you call it? The old style uh, Citadel pots. So I've had to use the base of a, one of the new washes, the new design pots, and they won't stand up, obviously, because they've got a rounded lid. Um, and I did put a piece of blue tack out so I can just stand this in the blue tack, and I forgot I put it there. So <laughs> before anybody says, can I just put some blue tack down? I have got some. It's here. <laughs> um, so I'll stand it in that when I need to put it down and as I said we're going all over this in the rough iron now I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to progress with this I've got some idea because I did actually start this these last night and um, I just got actually carried away with painting that I forgot to talk on the video so the ones that I haven't painted um, I'm going to do in this one okay so I decided to do this one anyway because it's this door on camera because it's a little bit more ornate than the others you've got this nice little window here and the panels are slightly different so it gives you a better idea of what I'm doing Hopefully I've got all of the inside of that window frame done. Um, haven't got behind the key panel or key pad of the of the door. Well, so we'll keep going with that. So I'm going to put that down on the like so, um, and give it a little time to dry. So while that's in the process of drying, what we're going to do next is clean the brush, obviously, and we're going to take a smaller brush when I can find one. Take a smaller brush, and we're going to take. We're going to go over to Citadel now, and administrate some grey. <coughs> so I'm going to just take some of this. I'm not showing any mixing. Yeah, I'm not showing the palette yet. It's just uh, an old CD that I have knocking about and 
Um, all I'm going to do is get the it hasn't quite dried fully or as fully as I'd hoped but hopefully that seems okay so we'll just take um, this door and we're going through the panels on these and at the moment it's just a very weak very watery um, coverage that we're doing at the moment because um, I've dampened my brush I am using I'm not not necessarily watering it down but I am using a damp brush and I'll just go over this because I'm trying to give a darker actually the paint hasn't dried enough to do this properly but it's just taking the coat from the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to another door which I know has dried so this one has dried so we'll use this and I'll go back to um, the first door later on hopefully we can catch up with ourselves So we're getting to the end of this particular part of this door. Um, as you can see, I'm not painting all of the panels in this one. I want to do something different with this. Um, but there we are, we've painted what I want to paint. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and repaint, starting from the, the one we actually want. Um, I want to paint on camera, that is. I'm going to start with that one and go back and um, give it another going over with the uh, administratum grey just to smooth it all out so we know where we stand with it all. I'll pop some more on the palette and then hopefully That's all we really need to do for the time being. So we'll just, as I say, go over the areas we need to paint this once more. That's what we're going to be doing with that colour. For the time being, what we are going to do now is get some more of the um, real fire as I said, and we'll get into it after dumping the brush. And we'll go along and yeah. Yeah. just keep it moving. Oh, 
Oh, bear with me a second. I think we have a phone call. We do. Okay, I'm back. And uh, yeah, I just had a phone call with my sister. Um, so, we're carrying on and we're tarting up the edges of the door. And yeah, I've done a few hours talking to her. But I've not done them all, obviously, as you can see. Because it does take a little bit of time. that seems to be all we can do for this stage so um, I will put that back down there and hopefully it's dried enough or the front part is dried enough that I can continue with doing the next stage which is where we start mixing now as I said I've already started doing some which is why I do have paints on the um, what do we call it already? On the, what I'm using for a palette. So what we're going to do this time is once again using administratum grey. I'll take some of that, and I'm using a small brush this time. And then some Stormhost Silver. Okay, put that in there. So Stormhost Silver and come out and we mix them together. And the idea is. But at some point I might be able to do something right. I'm a little bit occupied, I'm sorry. It's not the administration grey that I needed for this. Oh. It's this white scar. Um. I don't think I'll be able to use that one now because it's a different colour altogether to what I want. So I'm going to add some white scar onto here and then straight in. With some storm host silver. Oh, heck. It's a fairly pale metallic white. It's almost a grey colour, a shimmering grey colour. Um, there we are. And we're going to go into these areas with this colour now and try and get our hardest not to hit any of the rough iron parts of the door and this actually gives these panels quite a well in my opinion kind of ceramic look I don't know whether anyone will agree with me on this, but there we go. One panel done. And we do this for 
all the panels that we've painted white. The two panels on the door that I haven't painted white is not going to be done this colour. But we're going to think we're going to do another colour. But we're using the same effect for those. And we just take our time here as I said trying not to get this on any of the rough iron parts. Again if you do, don't be too concerned, you can always go back over with the rough iron and tidy it up like you've just done. But, you know, let's try your best not to do something. I sounded wrong. If <laughs> in a situation like this try your best to do it as neatly as you can and not go over the um, rough iron but if you do as I say don't worry it's not the end of the world. I was going to change the camera angle wasn't I and I've forgotten I've gone over the rough iron there. And I probably will do down here because it's a fairly small panel. Um, And it's a bit fiddly to get at because of the ledge here. So as I said, I may very well go over the writing part, and I think I have here, but I'll find out. Yeah, I have just a little bit. see what I mean about the ceramic look of this door compared to the flat colour of the administrator from grey that we put on earlier. Quite like this. I think it gives the door a little bit of character by not just having flat panels. So we'll go through and do all these doors like this and when they're all done we'll continue with this one. So I'm going to finish off here and show you on another door that I did last night. How far I've got because I've got to basically this stage but on both sides and we have two sets of doors of each type so that's one side and that's the other but when they're finished they're both going to look like that with a slight sheen to it. These have turned out quite lumpy for some reason, I don't know why. But there is a little bit of texture to these doors. But I think they look quite nice. But that's how they're going to look. And uh, when we come back, I'll have all the doors painted up to this level where the white, silvery white, is done 
on both sides. Okay, so join me in the next video and we'll continue with the uh, with the doors. So uh, until then, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.